What's happening everybody, I'm Growmaster. Welcome to Insurmountable, a survival rogue style type of game where we climb a mountain. Uh, I've, I've been watching, I've been watching for this for a while and was super excited to get a key last night, this morning, whatever it was, it was super late. Um, but yes, nonetheless, we basically try to climb to the top of a mountain. Random events happen along the way, different little things like that. It looks like we choose our person. Uh, adventure scientist or journalist. Looks like everybody has their own bonuses. Sprint, hint, climbing gloves, and food. Eagle eye analysis, tent, hiking staff, percent time cost. Ooh, that. Sting, okay, so body temperature increase for gloves, single minded. Weather and terrain effects. Climbing axe. Heavy boots, hot tea. Um, I don't know. I feel like I want to kind of go with this one. 35% time cost on all terrain, plus two body temperature per hour when moving. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with the adventure. You've dived down into the briny deeps or depths of the ocean in search of lost treasure, research long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforest. Unearth ancient ruins in the endless deserts. No adventure was ever big enough, and nothing ever got in your way. Now a new challenge awaits you. Remote island, long concealed behind a blanket of fog. A mountain range, in which there is no rec record. <laughs> and peaks to tower into the heavens, just waiting to be scaled. Stuff adventures, dreams, and your chance to get your name in history book. Uh, I'm going on normal, because that's all we have. <laughs> Cannot be changed for your... Yeah, I know. I mean, there's literally only one option. Same with the mountain. Apparently there's three mountains, but there's only one mountain. Alright. <clears throat> what? Route 1. Unusual phenomenon. Thin air. Uh, firm snow. Snowy terrain provides better grip on the route. There are heavy storms of this route. You know what? I can't... Oh, warm nights. Warmer than usual. Seems good. I want to go on usual phenomenon. That sounds fun. We're going to take this first route. As you stand at the base of the mountain looking up at the summit, you sense that adventure waits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map for all these years? Are the rumors about a group of unknown occupiers true? And who are the people that live here? As much as you would like to know, your most burning desire is the first to scale the summit. That's what you're risking your life. Alright. So hold middle mouse button to turn things around. Uh, left click where I want to go. Right click removes the marker. Okay. So, we got stone terrain, energy and time cost moving, okay, danger, snowy terrain, increased energy cost for movement, danger, unprecedented, unpredictable things could happen. What's the difference? Same as this. Alright, icy terrain. Okay, good to know. I think it's just letting me know about each one. It's all about snow. Okay. Uh, then we have events. There are various events throughout the map. Uh, we got health, energy, sanity, oxygen, sanity, body temperature. <coughs> <coughs> Two seconds into the video, and Mars sneezing. <laughs> critical stats: when a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. Do the path preview would definitely hit a critical status. Continue to climb in this condition. Face dangerous critical events. Okay. And then there's level ups. I saw I saw that on the thing. I was like, oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like an RPG a little bit too. Choose between multiple skills instead of each level. Uh, skill window provides a comprehensive list of your chosen skills, and I think it's RNG on the skills you get too. So RNG, if you've watched videos like of mine before, I don't have the best of luck with RNG. Like RNG is not my biggest. Uh, it's, it's not really my friend. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, normal weather, energy cost of climbing increase, body temperatures loss increase, energy loss, energy cost of climbing increase. Okay, making difficult choices, outcomes, careful, time passes in an event, you may gain or lose stats. Okay. And then we can sleep. Looks like there's a certain amount of 
uses we have, so we have three uses of the tent. Alright. Sleep at any time I click on the sleep button, but sleeping without a tent would severely lower your body temperature. Alright, that all makes sense. Okay. I'm I'm good. So this is us, our little person right here. This big old map, and our goal is to get up to the top of there. Oof, alright. <laughs> We gotta find a good path. Oh, there's already an event right here. Now these are like, because it's randomized, it may not be a good event. Move this. I go over here and then come down. Right, let's not go up. I mean, that's that's my whole thing. So if I come here, no, it makes me go all the way around. Okay, I guess that's fine. Oh, and then I just hold forward to move? Okay, that's cool. Zoom in on myself. My little dude. Just walking along, having a good old climb. Everything seems fine. My energy is not the best right now. I'm going to... I don't think... I think I'm going to stop over here. I don't think I'm going to go all the way down there. Kind of looks like we're going the wrong way. What is this? Temporary effect that caused by time and location of the mountain. See individual effects. Oh, weather's clear. 20% experience gained in events. That's cool. Wait, 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 wait. Can I not stop once I start moving? I thought I could. Stop right here, right? Yeah, okay, good. Come up here. It's like a treasure chest. That seems like something that's good. Then air, okay. My energy looked like it was really oh <clears throat> it was that entire walk it would have completed my energy all right uh time cost cool down is 24 hours i don't know how long it lasts but i don't feel like it's something i really want to mess with right now we got a cave something i assume that's a cave it looks like a cave it looks like a cave from like literally like the icon of the cave on several games I've played. And they put it on the map. Right. So far away. What? Came across a corrugated metal shipping container covered in rust. Maybe the occupiers left it as a storage facility? Uh, so I lose 3% of my temperature. Take some time. Okay, I see. So it actually shows me down the bottom left on how much it actually takes my day. It takes a while, but I assume we would get some supplies. Take a quick look. You know what? Screw it. <clears throat> you search, pays off. You find some valuable equipment. Sweet. I got a hat. So we don't lose as much body temperature. Alright, and I leveled up. Specialize in moving through flat terrain, specialize in, mo in dangerous terrain, specialize in utilizing consumables. Alright. Sanity back when you use them. Uh, okay, all terrains are dependent on terrain. All, all bonuses, okay. Whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain some experience. Reduce energy cost on all terrain. Okay, I mean, I guess this one seems good. Yeah. I don't know, getting sanity back? I mean, my sanity's already starting to drop a little bit. No, screw it, I'm just gonna go with this one. Reduce energy cost. Okay, so it's, it's already nighttime, apparently. Why is that one glowing blue? I mean, if I go that way, and then we go up to here, I have to go all the way around, though. How about if I just go over? Ooh, I don't know, then. And there's multiple, like, we could go this way, it looks like. But it's a lot of big climbs. That's already through two events. I want to know why this one's flashy, though. 
Screw it. We're gonna go. Alright. Does this help? Okay. Skills. Pause menu. I'm, d I'm just trying to check everything out. Time lapse? Oh, so we can actually. There actually is a fast forward mode. So you guy can move faster. Alright, go, my dude. Yes. <laughs> like, this game looked so freaking awesome. Like, absolutely amazing. I was super excited when I got the key to this. I was like, man, I want to play this now, but it was so late, and I. Waking up with my kids at 7 in the morning. No, no. <laughs> Not staying up super late lately. Steps have been hewn into stone, leading you to the pedestal of swords, some type of religious shrine. Maybe. You're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for energy. For health? I don't need health. Hey, give me my energy back. Heck yeah. That's friggin' worth it. Right? Just keep going. I can't see you. You're like perfectly hidden behind here. There we go. Because I wasn't moving. I thought I was moving, and I wasn't moving. So, I mean, energy is fine, then I don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, my temperature right now is not good. Standing in the skeleton of an old tree, its exposed roots form a hollow that seems to lead deep into the earth. Someone has set traps in front. Maybe they hid something in a hole? No, I'm not losing my sanity. I'm good. Probably could find something cool, but... I don't know. I don't feel like that's worth it, necessarily. Reach a small plateau on a steep rock wall provides natural protection from the icy wind. A good place to take a break. Long, exhausted fire suggests you're not the first one to rest here. Outcome is unknown. Let's take a break. Other mountaineers have sat here before you to recover from their exertion. Wonder who they were and what they were doing here. Can you my journey? Um... Wait, what is this? What is the what? It just gives me the experience. Is that what the blue, blue and green are? Okay. Uh, let's take a look around. In gap between two rocks, you find some empty cans of beans. Their expiration date is listed as fifty years ago. <laughs> Probably a group of mountaineers. Judging by the number of cans, how strange! You take a look around and discover more provisions. Be useful as you continue your journey. I don't lose temperature. Oh heck yeah! We got an oxygen bottle. Alright. Okay, confirm that and level up. Okay, increase sanity gain in events. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No. S significantly reduce energy costs in all terrain. Gain more body temperature per hour while moving. Yes, I like that one. Especially since my temperature seems to be dropping. And it's nighttime. So, there's that. Okay, so I don't necessarily want to go right here. I just wanted to see where it was. All right, let's go. So my question is: Does time only move when I'm moving, or does it move all the time? No, oh, it looks like it's moving all the time. Or I started moving right when I said that. I don't know. Never mind. No clue. It's moving all the time. I want to keep going though. Oh. Energy. Wait, 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 what have I done? What is this? There's something on the ground in front of you. Reach down to find a can of beans that expired 50 years ago. It's like the ones you found in the gap between the rocks and the little plateau. Only this one is still closed. I eat the contents. I'm not touching that can. I feel like this is a very dangerous idea. Screw it. There's no noticeable smell, although the expir expiry date must have long since passed. Seems icy temperatures have prevented them from spoiling. As you eat, you wonder what becomes of the mountaineers. You take the deck. They found an unopened can is a bad sign. Yeah. Oh god, the temperature. Ooh, okay. Okay, so... We're here. Got multiple pathways to take. It looks like there's snow and stuff over there. I think I want to go this way. Fortunately, that means I went the wrong way. What is the little person sign? Oh, that's like one of the reasons I want to go. 
All right, just go, 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 go. Stop. All right. Next textile. Sleep. Okay, that opens. This. That's how we can sleep. Good, good, good. Discover an intact tent. There's nobody in sight, but the embers of the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It could be invaluable items. Ooh. I want to search the camp, man. Tent as unusual symbol catches your eye. Plunder it and find valuable equipment. Heavy boots? Okay. Nice. An energy cost is down on stone. All right, let's climb. I think there's another event hidden down there. Okay, we found another storage container. I'm just gonna take a quick look this time. Nice. Another auction container. I mean, as far as items go, I feel like we're doing great there. What is happening over here in the corner? Okay, come up here. Uh, all right, well, screw it. I'm going this way. There we go. I like this whole planning your your trek. Oh, we're gonna have to come back down. Oh no. This way looks so much not so nice, but now there's this big gap in between. Okay, so there's a cave there, I assume. I'm gonna go over to that too. Lean back against the rock face, a distant melody reaches your ears, soft and tender and beautiful. Close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. Keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Maybe yet another legacy of occupiers, or maybe it's an origin or more mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes you smile. Nice! Look at the freaking happiness! Holy crap! And we leveled up again. Specialized in moving through steep terrain. Uh, considering we're doing a lot of climbing, I kind of want this. Is this one, un <clears throat> this seems good, but it only says it increases my experience. Taking the direct path might make you miss out on events and experience. Yeah, that's fine. There's going to be a lot of climbing I'm going to have to do. If I cancel that, yeah, we go through some crazy stuff. So I'm going to go this way. Then we'll go over there. Okay, actually, I lied. I want. I'm just gonna go to this first. That's up. All right, everything's fine so far. I zoom in my. Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking. If I zoom in down here, I'm not gonna be able to see anything. Enter a cave is dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Uh, follow the light. Follow the light as you approach. You realize that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Okay, cool. So we got a little bit of, like, kill stuff. Enter a cave is dry and sheltered from the wind. Okay, I'm gonna lie down and sleep. Oh, I don't know. It's not nighttime, though. Sleep briefly. Sleep long. Oh, I thought it would warm me up. It's not gonna warm me up. Crap. All right, no, I'm not gonna sleep yet. I leave the cave. All right, let's come up to that next event that's over here. Oh, do I gotta? Gotta click. Okay. As far as where we go next, I guess we just keep going along this path. But whoa! Like on the ground are two dead mountaineers. It looks like they haven't been. Oh no, the sanity's probably gonna drop. I recognize the symbol of the clothing. It's the same as the ones in the tent you plundered. Yeah, I knew my sanity was going to drop. Level up again, though. Reduce time cost in all terrain. Spend more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. That seems bad. Wait, what? Spend more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Careful steps. Oh, wait, it didn't go. Okay, mm, I don't know about that. Plus 40 maximum energy? That seems pretty amazing, to be honest. Uh, 
Yeah. Extra energy sounds good. Oh god, it looks like I have no energy now, though. <laughs> okay. I think I see another cave. Yeah, I may I may try to sleep at this cave. My only problem is the temperature. Old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile and motions you to sit down with her and recharge your strength. You do as she suggests and regain warmth. Oh my god, give me my warmth. Oh, yes. Yes! Now I don't mind sleeping. Okay, that's what I was hoping. It goes right through here. I don't like that... I'm, I'm so far above my person. It confuses me. Oh, wait, what? I thought that was it. It was hidden behind this. Uh, half buried in the snow, you find a weathered stone plaque. It seems to be old. Very old, in fact. Holy crap. I don't have the energy for that, so I just have to continue on my journey, unfortunately. Alright, we can get there. And this way, it'll be nighttime, and I can hopefully sleep in the cave at nighttime. Wake up in the morning when it's daytime. I assume this is like the unusual events, right? These little blue things? I have no clue. Dry and sheltered from the wind? Okay, I'm gonna lie down and sleep this time. Okay, this is sleep almost until morning. I'll get a lot of energy back. I'll lose some temperature. That's fine. Alright, there we go. It's still nighttime, but at least it's not going to be nighttime much longer. There we go. Daytime. Oh, no. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you into a pedestal of sorts. Okay, so we're at a religious shrine again. Health or energy? Give me the energy! Yeah! Oh, it looks like we got some snow or ice here. Now, I feel like we're doing pretty good on the climb here. Okay, so... That takes me through some dangerous terrain. Oh, there's no real easy way to do this. No matter what, it looks like everything takes you through some dangerous terrain. What is this, though? I don't know if I should do that. I guess we keep going this way? I'm gonna go right here for now. I think no matter what, I'm gonna have to climb up something that's not gonna be safe. Yeah, because I can't walk through this, so it forces you to come through here. Or I have to climb up here. Which apparently this doesn't look safe. Ooh, is our first actual challenge. Dude, this looks like it's a nicer climb, though. That one, I think I'm... I don't know, it almost looks like I'm going to have to climb back down. No, we can climb all the way up. Okay, screw it, I'm going to this. I mean, if it's another shrine, the shrines keep turning out well. I don't know what this means here. Deep snow? Oh, that's cool. So depending on where you are, so because we're here, there's not, I don't have the... It's not like yellow anymore. Active fire pit, but not a sound or a soul around the flames to be... Fighting the icy wind for survival, watching the fire dance in the face of the cold, it's almost meditative. Meditative. You watch it for a while and regain sanity or energy. Honestly, just keep going on energy for now. Okay, so it looks like over there I can climb up. I think that's the only way up. Let me just climb up here for now. It's not saying anything about it being, like, bad or whatnot. I think we're still protected by this. Not anymore, though. Now we're out in the open. Okay, uh... Great. This? Oh, wait, I have to actually activate this? No, 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 no. It's just stuff I have, okay. 
climbing globe. Okay, so this is just what I have for here. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I like the environment thing staying open so I can see what's happening. Uh, looks like we can, whoa, something like way up there. We're still so far away, it's up there. Okay. Uh, I guess we can climb up here, sure. Then I think we go over and around, yeah, like this. Oof. Oof, there's a lot of stuff that's not good. There's no other way up? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna head there necessarily, I just wanna get closer. I'm gonna at least get up to here. You see good? Blocking my face from the wind. I assume anything with like an exclamation mark on it can end badly. No, stop moving. I want to see. So this is stone. That's yeah. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna. I am gonna keep going up this one. What's this? What is this thing up there at the top? My person is trying to block his face. I don't know. It's some crazy symbol. I don't know what the symbol means. what no 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 can't I want to click on it I want to click on it can I do that is that gonna that's gonna drain all of my energy ooh that's not good all right well I'm gonna try to go as far as I can at least at least try to get out of the like wind we're in right now deep snow Then air, all right. Okay, snow drift. Uh, there's a part of me that wants to try to sleep. Oh wait, there's a cave up here. Ooh, can I get to this at least? Please be good. Don't hurt yourself. All right, can I at least get to the cave without? Yes, I can get to the cave without uh running out of energy. That's my main thing right now. I just need to get to a place that's out of this wind. Because not only is it nighttime, it's also cold as crap. Alright, and then we can check out what these things are in the morning. This seems like a special thing. Ooh. Step on a treacherous place for twisting your ankle. Oh no. Night. Find a shelter. Uh, you know it's a strong smell. Should I follow the smell? Eh. Hear a growl. Fear wells up inside you before you can react. Something bites your leg. Cursing and pain, you flee the cave. I have no energy. What is this? Oh man, I need to sleep then, don't I? Wait, what? My body temperature goes up. Okay. Not at all how I expected that to go. Okay, sweet. So that only goes for a little bit longer. Let's go here first. And then I'll go to this one. I still need more energy, though. Yeah, an outline of a large rectangular object concealed underneath an old parachute. Gingerly lift this stained, tattered fabric to find a metal case. It was used to transport goods. You're in luck, the case contains provisions. Alright, I got some canned food. Oh, wait, I can... Yes! I had no idea! Alright, cool. Check out what this thing is. Entrance to expansive cave. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently to the tips of the stalactites, onto the rocks, and into the pools below. There's a soothing, tickling, tinkling sound that makes as the land leaves the calm and relaxed. Okay. Do we get a good bonus to sanity? 
Rock formations must be many of many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. Makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You too are here to achieve something that will outlast you. Something people will talk about for years to come. Nice, it does. It increases my sanity. <clears throat> uh, energy cost on all terrain. Prevent critical interruption event. I mean, that's good, right? Percent energy cost on stone. Wait, why would I want that? Oh, mine is fifty percent energy cost on stone. I feel like we're kind of passing the point that we're going to be on a lot of stone, though. I mean, this one. Yes. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing. Oh, look at I can actually see. Wow, we're a lot closer than I thought. Look at that. We've, we've covered all of that terrain to get here. All right. Oof. going to be ice sheets up there. So if I want to get up here, I have to go through this path or I can go through this path. That seems like it has more obstacles that way, so let's go this way. Plus there's two events. I don't think I'm going to get this one because it requires me to go to the side. I don't know. It actually depends on what it's like climbing this compared to climbing this. Go, my dude. I believe in you. You don't have to cover your face anymore. And this will go away. Let's see, freaking energy. Ugh. Twisted ankle sucks. I don't know. It's literally right there. What is this? You trudge along a slope piled high with snow. Think deeper into the drifts with every step until suddenly your boot meets resistance. Push the snow aside, exposing a meta metallic surface. Colored markings on it, faded, but still identifiable. There's no doubt about it. You found the wing of a down plane. I'm not gonna do that. That's a stupid amount of energy. Damn in the wing. You're engrossed in your work when, out of the corner of your eye, you spot a building cloud of snow coming towards you. You dive into a recess in the rock. Second later, tons of snow and ice come thundering down above you. You're plunged into darkness. The cold seeps into your bones, and you gasp, gasp for air. Okay. Slowly well, start to dig calmly. Carefully until you burst through the mantle of snow and fresh air flows back into your lungs. Dude. That sucked. Okay. There's that direction or there's this direction. This way looks like it has less that you hit. So I'm gonna go this way. Now you could you could avoid a lot of these events, not this. Uh there's a narrow spot where you can attempt to jump across. Go around the crevasse, which cools me down. Puts us into nighttime. I'm not gonna attempt to jump. RNG hates me, so I just prefer to uh, <laughs> do it that way. And there's a cave right here, so we can sleep till morning. Air is getting thin, and breath is heavy. Enter the danger zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for a difficult path towards the summit. Decreased oxygen loss for a longer time. Energy loss for a short time. Before I ascend, I must mend my wounds. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I have those two oxygen tanks. I don't see where oxygen's marked at. Okay. Explore the tunnel. Do I risk it again? Screw it. It's so dark you can't see your hands in front of your face. Oh, I don't have a torch. Alright, I wander through the darkness after a while, your hands find an object on the ground, it feels unusual. Okay, find some equipment. Alright, return to the cave entrance and we get hot tea. Nice! It's gonna warm our temperature up. Good, good. Alright, I am gonna lie down and sleep though. Uh, oh, when we lose oxygen by sleeping. Where is the oxygen? There it is. It's been there this whole time and I just never noticed. Okay, so this will put me into morning. Yeah, I'm gonna do this then. I lose a lot of oxygen. The only problem. It gives it gives me a lot of temperature and heat. Which is both things that I want, given that we're getting up to the super cold area. Alright. 
Another cave here. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna head up there. Trying to find the best route here. It looks like there's like three exclamation things. This is only two, though. Yeah, let's go over here, I guess. Do we gotta wrap around and come up? There's no... I did not expect to even get this far. I figured RNG would have murdered me by now. So, the fact that I've made it this far alone is... Oh, there's a lot of stone here, I guess. I'm rather happy about, though. Okay, so there's like a mix of things I can do here. The cave is dry and sheltered. Oh, there's no special thing about this one? I don't want to sleep through the, the daytime. Okay, there's no exclamation marks at all here. I guess we're fine just to climb up this. That's a really high thing. I assume that's why my energy is dropping so much. Is this death zone? Oh god, nearby camp, a couple empty bottle tanks. Uh, take your time to search the tents. Yeah, and then I'll just use the thing. Alright, got another oxygen tank. Honestly, can I just use this? There we go. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to end up using that thing. Alright. We got options. We got this over here and cross through one thing. Got this over here and cross through one thing. This right there. And I mean, my goal is over here, though. So, you know what? Let's go this way. Go through two questionable terrains. That's fine. Clear weather? Why did it why was it all flashy for a second? As soon as I looked, it disappeared. Press unpredictable things happen on glaciers. Good to know. Oh, it was on the other one, dude. <clears throat> like the the angles of things, I can't always see where I'm at. Hmm? Another one of those special events over there. Alright, so the same thing as before. Energy or health. I'm going to go with energy because we have health. Okay, and my overall goal is to get up here. I don't have enough energy to get there, though. What if I go here? Then there. So it, it will work. There's only one bad thing I got to go to. So let's go here and then I'll sleep. Actually, I lied. I lied. Can I? Uh, go right here. And then I can use my sleeping or my tent. How do I inventory? Okay, so do I want to use my tent? Yes. Lose more oxygen, that's fine. I mean, I want to sleep until daytime. So, yeah, I'll just sleep until daytime. I'll immediately use an oxygen thing, and I think I'll even use the food. To make sure we don't run out of energy. Alright. Uh, equipment? No. Inventory. Yes. And yes. Okay. Up to there. Am I really gonna run out of energy? Okay, let's do it. I actually don't see any exclamation marks though. I got no problems with this? Oh my god. It's this giant climb here, isn't it? What is why why is the thing so is it just the top climb? Okay, so that just drained the crap out of my energy. Am I gonna have to sleep on the top of the mountain? Right up here? Is that what's gonna happen? 
Golden Eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying its maj majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it and watch it watches you too, unafraid. Can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical, fully wrapped up in the moment. You gain sanity or warmth. I would love some energy. That's what I would really enjoy. Okay. It's literally right there. That's as far as I need to go, but the problem is... Where does that take me? All the way around. So if I go right here, can I sleep? I need to get my energy up, and there's no other way. So... Yes, uh, use our, our tent for the last time. Sleep long puts me right at nighttime, but it'll give me, should give me enough energy. I would hope. I don't know, man. It makes me uncomfortable. The amount of oxygen I lose, painful. And it makes it nighttime, so there's that too. But this is where we're supposed to go, so let's do it. Climb this mountain. Am I actually going to freaking succeed the first time I've tried this? Like, this is supposed to be brutal. I think we're up here with the northern lights. Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand at the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. Save for the moment. It's yours and yours alone. Then you must plant your flag. Those who come after you will know what you achieved. Oh yeah. Wait, what? We're not done. Oh, I thought that was the end. I was like, why did it just let me level up? That seems strange. Oh no. Now we're going to die for sure. <laughs> Lose some oxygen, gain some energy. Um, I thought the goal was just to hit the top. No. Reduce time costs and all terrain. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh my god. Now I have to get down to heat. Yeah, it's a really far distance and I have no way to heal. Oh god. What happens when I get to energy? Am I going to start losing health? Like, I don't have a choice. I have to go down. Feel weak and exhausted, you doubt you can... Okay, sit down and rest. Suddenly invigorated, you continue on your way. Sweet! Okay, that's fine. Oxygen's not fine, but... Not much I can do about that. Northern Lights, what a sight. Heck yeah! Alright then. Uh, I legit have no idea how to get down from here. So even that depletes my energy. Eesh. Because the environment, because it's nighttime. And it's stormy. So that increases all my energy loss. I can't sleep out in the just cold... No, I have no tent anymore. Okay, so where's the green thing? Let's put this here. God, I can't see anything. Alright, well I got no choice but to climb down this one. Oh, the oxygen, too. Yeah, I'm gonna start taking health loss, aren't I? Oh, you painless... You, as you painstakingly struggle forward, you are struck by a strange unease. Sure, you're exhausted, and it's tempting to lie down right here and sleep, but your unease grows stronger. Every step you take, you doubt that you will ever reach your goal grows. Uh, pull myself together and push on. Shut out all thoughts and the troubling you. The more you walk, the more machine you become. You will is stronger in your exhaustion. You won't let it get you down. Nice. So now I have enough energy to get all the way down there. Is there a cave or anything nearby? Oh, there's a cave right here. Go to the cave. Go sleep in the cave how far I've gone. Height. Oh, that's my height. I'm we're well over the death zone. 
Mmm. Ball of light. Hundreds of fireflies. Okay, so we got that happening again. Lie down and sleep. Lose some oxygen, but... I mean, okay, so... Real quick before I do this. I can't sleep. Oh, crap. Sleep briefly. I need that energy is the problem. I'm gonna sleep briefly only because I... I, I don't know what happens if my oxygen runs out. Alright. Inventory. Use this. I have the tea too, so if I need that, we're good. Oh, I've lost where I'm supposed to be going. Down here, right? I gotta backtrack some. Looks like we can. Oh, wait, why does it. Still stormy? Oh, so if we get below the death zone, then I don't have to worry about the oxygen. Okay. I mean, I still have a ways to go before we do, but that'll be good. Okay, I was like, please tell me I'm going the right way. I legit don't even know. Oh, is there no other way to get there? No other way to get there than to go this way. All right, um, I mean, I guess so. It's my goal, but the problem is, is I don't see any places to stop. I just need to get below that 6,000 feet. That's like my big thing. I mean, I think we are going to just a minute. Maybe. I don't know. I really hope that at the bottom- Ooh, wide crevasse is blocking your way. I can't. I legit just can't do that. Cross the snow bridge. After a few steps on the snow bridge, the snow gives way. You hit the other side of the crevasse hard, but manage to catch your fall. That's fun. That's what I wanted. Eh. Alright. Oh, I'm so worried about my oxygen. Like, energy? There's just nothing I could do about that, but... I could have gone here. Maybe it could have gotten me some sort of energy. Ooh. Ooh, it's so far down. Oh, God. I sit and rest. Sorry, I'm freezing. You wake up again. Oh, God. That's really bad. Oh, that's like the worst it's ever been. Warm up a little bit. <laughs> I didn't even think about the return return trip. Danger, unpredict. Okay, so there's like rubble and stuff laying around here. So I can get to there. I need like a cave or something. Oh, there's a cave right there. Here, a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you in the torso. God. What the? Freaking just beating the crap out of myself. <clears throat> Come on, tell me this is low enough that we're going to be out of the... 48. I'm climbing down a bunch right now. Below 6,000. Yes! I think oxygen is fine now. Okay. Getting into the darkness. I, I don't have a torch, so I'm just going to lie down and sleep. Sleep for a long time. Oh, it gives me some oxygen back. Right. Oh, I can't. I was going to try to sleep again. <laughs> that was my plans there, is I was going to try to sleep again. So I just need to get to here. I think I can do it. As long as we don't have to climb up above the 6,000 mark again. Okay. Oh, are we going to actually do it? Am I going to make it out? I thought for sure we were doomed after I realized we had to climb down. You can do it, man. I believe in you. There's still several events I could have done, but... 
I was just running out of stuff. I was, uh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Holy crap. Can't believe I actually achieved success. You reach a large sheltered area perfect for rest. Obviously, you would prefer to keep going to head toward the next summit right away, but that would be suicide. <laughs> you don't want to make it to the history books. You also want to be able to read them and to make that happen. You need to gather your strength because one thing is for sure. The first climb cost you and the second one won't be any easier. We did it! Actually beat the freaking first mountain. <clears throat> You're struggling to keep going? Your ankles have suffered. Oh, that's not good. Wait, what does that mean? So we just move on to the next... What? That's crazy. Stable ice. Very rough terrain, heavy blizzard, firm snow, heavy blizzard, rough, very rough terrain, thick air, heavy blizzard, and very eerie surroundings. I mean, heavy blizzards in all of them. Okay, so you get extra oxygen when moving. Uh... Ooh, I guess we can go with this one. Very rough terrain. I don't know. I guess this one sounds like the least awful. This eerie thing, though, sounds bad. So butterflies in your stomach as you take the second summit. It's so beautiful. It's so deadly. Although the mountains remain a mystery to you. I'm not going to do this right now, just so you know. <laughs> and you encounter a phenomenon that you can't explain in a deep sense of contentment. Didn't come here to solve the island's mysteries. What into new heights achievement? Uh, you can you came here to test yourself against nature and to achieve the impossible. The next climb will push you to your limits, but this path you've chosen. Okay. Um, I gotta level up. Six again, you lose fewer health in events. Weakens the effects of stormy weather. Honestly, that one. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, real quick. Yeah, 100%. This is what we have happen all the time. All right, I guess I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I'll happily come back. This is freaking, this has been a blast. Like, I've enjoyed the crap out of this game. And, yeah, I mean, this is, I can't believe I actually got the first mountain done. I didn't realize it was going to be from mountain to mountain to mountain. That in itself is freaking insane to me. Because, I mean, our energy and our oxygen... I mean, our oxygen, I assume, is going to keep going up because we're really nowhere near that. Oh, my God. That first mountain was nothing compared to this. And I now know that we keep going. Like, I didn't know that either. So I thought we were, like, we were done when we reached the top. Like, that was the whole point. But no. Then you had to climb back down. I was like, okay, well, now we're done. But no. <laughs> then you move on. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, this is, I'm totally digging this. I hope you guys do, too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.